Hey everybody, welcome back. Last weekend we were headed east to the Wisconsin Outlaw Streetcar event when Byron Dragway decided to put together a little 28 inch shootout for Friday evening. But we thought we would uh, go out and enter the shootout and get some test hits anyhow seeing that we were headed east which would give us some valuable data leading into Saturday's race. As we had rolled in and uh, started unpacking and looked around the pits, we soon found that there were some pretty heavy hitters in this uh, field here for the shootout. The likes of Boost 12, Wally Farbicky, Scott Doerr, Joe Koch, Carter Pelletier, and a couple other pretty bad dudes as well. We arrived early enough that allowed us to get a couple test hits in which we definitely uh, wanted to see where we were at based off the racing surface and um, based off of how hot and muggy it was outside. test hit, we decided to throw a little more power to see what the track might hold. confident going into round one um, after the last three test passes of knocking the tires off. Uh, we backed the tune-up back down um, to something that we thought would go down the racetrack. For the second race in a row, we had drawn Brian Price in the first round in his black fourth generation Camaro. fire when he tried to get, put it on the trans brake. I was a little concerned with uh, the temperature and the transmission based off of sitting on the brake there for a little while, but I sure didn't want to take a win like that. So I said, let's run it, even though I was offered uh, an automatic DQ. Brian lost fire. It's going to back him up. Anyway. Okay, what's wrong? Two, we drew Scott Doerr in his ultra-quick blue Mustang. We knew that we would have our hands full with Scott and decided to wick up the car a little bit um, to try to cover some additional ground as well as uh, with it turning a little bit later in the evening and hopefully with track conditions uh, getting better. <laughs>
hot against Scott and ended up kicking the tires. I was able to quickly pedal it and get back into it and get to the stripe first. For chip off for round three, we were able to draw the Vi chip um, with the final three remaining cars um, putting us automatically into the finals. So we took one more swing at the racetrack to see what it might hold. somehow found ourselves in the final amongst all these powerhouse and heavy hitters that showed up to the racetrack. In the finals, we had Joe Koch and his single turbocharged Mustang. Seeing the fact that we had issues going down the racetrack the last couple passes, we had decided to turn the car down a little bit just to make sure that we got a clean hit. turned out to be a great night with our runner-up finish. We were able to get some test hits and get familiar with the racing service, which would provide us um, some necessary data for the following Wisconsin Outlaw Street race uh, the next day on Saturday. Stay tuned later this week for the release of that video. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.